Chapter 43 Gold Adornments In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Ha Meem By the manifest book that makes things clear. Surely we have made it a Quran in Arabic, that you may be able to understand its meanings and its warnings. And surely it is in the mother of the book before us, indeed exalted, full of wisdom. Shall we then not warn you and take away the reminder from you, because you are a people transgressing? And how many a prophet have we sent amongst the men of old? And there never came a prophet to them, but they used to mock him. We destroyed men far stronger in power than these, and the example remains of the ancients who passed away before them. And indeed, if you ask them, Who has created the heavens and the earth? They will surely say, The Almighty, the All-Knower created them who has made for you the earth like a bed, and has made for you roads in order that you may find your way, and who sends down rain from the sky in due measure, and we revive a dead land with it, and likewise you will be brought forth from the dead. And who has created all the pairs, and has appointed for you ships and animals on which you ride, in order that you may mount their backs, and then may remember the favor of your Lord when you mount them, and say, Glory to him who has subjected this to us, and we could never have done it by our efforts. And surely to our Lord we are to return. Yet they assign to some of his slaves a share with him. Surely man is indeed manifestly ungrateful. Or has he taken daughters out of what he has created, and then selected for you sons? And if one of them is informed of the news of that which he set forth as a parable to the most gracious Allah, his face becomes dark, gloomy, and he is filled with grief. Do they then liken to Allah a creature who is brought up wearing adornments, and in dispute cannot make herself clear? And they make the angels who themselves are slaves to the most gracious as females. Did they witness their creation? Their evidence will be recorded, and they will be questioned. And they said, if it had been the will of the Most Gracious Allah, we should not have worshipped false deities. They have no knowledge, they do nothing but lie. Or have we given them a book before this, to which they are holding fast? No. They say, we found our fathers following a certain way in religion, and we guide ourselves by their footsteps. And similarly, we did not send a warner before you, O Muhammad, to any town, but the leaders among them said, we found our fathers following a certain way and religion, and indeed we will follow in their footsteps. The warner said, Even if I bring you better guidance than that which you found your fathers following? They said, Surely we disbelieve in that with which you have been sent. So we took revenge on them. So see what was the end of those who denied. And remember when Abraham said to his father and his people, I am innocent of what you worship instead of him who created me, and surely he will guide me. And he made it a lasting word among his offspring, that they may turn back and repent to Allah, and receive admonition. No, but I gave the good things of this life to these polytheists and their fathers to enjoy, till there came back to them the truth of the Quran, and a messenger Muhammad making things clear. And when the truth of this Quran came to them, the disbelievers said, This is magic and we disbelieve in it. And they say, Why is this Quran not sent down to some great man of the two towns? Is it they who would distribute the mercy of your Lord? It is we who portion out between them their livelihood in this world. And we raise some of them above others in ranks, so that some may employ others in their work. But the mercy of your Lord, O Muhammad, is better than the wealth of this world which they amass. And were it not that all mankind would have become one community, we would have provided for those who disbelieve in the most gracious Allah silver roofs for their houses and stairways by which they would ascend. And for their houses would be doors of silver and thrones of silver on which they could recline and adornments of gold. Yet all this would have been nothing but an enjoyment of this world. But the hereafter with your Lord is only for the righteous. And whoever turns away from the remembrance of the Most Gracious Allah, we appoint a devil for him to be his constant and intimate companion. And surely the devils hinder them from the path of Allah, yet they think that they are rightly guided. Till when such a one comes to us, he says to his companion, Would that between you and I was the distance of the two Easts, what a miserable companion! 
It will not profit you this day as you did wrong, and you will both share in the punishment. Can you, O Muhammad, make the deaf hear, or can you guide the blind or him who is in manifest error? And even if we took you away, O Muhammad, we would indeed take vengeance on them. Or if we show you that with which we threaten them, but surely we have perfect command over them. So hold fast, O Muhammad, to that which is inspired in you. Surely you are on a straight path. And surely this Quran is a reminder for you, O Muhammad, and for your people, and you will be questioned about it. And ask, O Muhammad, those of our messengers whom we sent before you, did we ever appoint gods to be worshipped besides the most gracious Allah? And indeed, we sent Moses with our proofs, signs, and revelations to Pharaoh and his chiefs, inviting them to Allah's religion of Islam. He said, Surely I am a messenger of the Lord of mankind, jinn, and all that exists. But when he came to them with our proofs, signs, and revelations, behold, they only laughed at them, and every sign we showed them was greater than the one before it, and we seized them with torment, in order that they might repent. And they said to Moses, O sorcerer, invoke your Lord on our behalf to relieve this torment, that you have agreed with him. Surely we will guide ourselves rightly. But when we removed the torment, behold, they broke their covenant. And Pharaoh proclaimed to his people, saying, O my people, is the dominion of Egypt not mine? And these rivers flowing underneath me, do you not then see? Am I not better than this Moses, who has no honor nor respect, and is weak and despicable, and can barely express himself clearly? Then why are golden bracelets not bestowed on him, or angels sent along with him? Thus he fooled and misled his people, and they obeyed him. Surely they were ever a people who were rebellious and disobedient to Allah. So when they angered us, we punished them and drowned them all. And we made them a precedent and a lesson for those coming after them, and as an example to later generations. And when the son of Mary is cited as an example, behold, your people disregard it, and say, Are our gods better, or is he? They do not quote the above example except for argument. No, but they are a quarrelsome people. Jesus was no more than a servant to us. We granted our favor to him and we made him an example to the children of Israel. And if it were our will, we would have destroyed you, and made angels replace you on the earth. And he, Jesus, son of Mary, shall be a known sign for the coming of the hour. Therefore have no doubt concerning it, and follow me. This is the straight path. And do not let Satan hinder you from the right religion. Surely he is a plain enemy to you. And when Jesus came with our clear proofs, he said, I have come to you as a prophet, and in order to make clear to you some of the points in which you differ, therefore fear Allah and obey me. Surely, Allah, He is my Lord and your Lord, so worship Him alone. This is the only straight path. But the factions differed among themselves. So woe to those who do wrong, there will be a torment of a painful day. Do they wait for the hour that it shall come upon them suddenly, while they do not perceive it? Friends on that day will be foes one to another, except the pious. It will be said to the true believers, My worshippers, no fear shall be on you on this day, nor shall you grieve. You who believed in our proofs, signs, and revelations, and were Muslims, enter paradise, you and your wives, in happiness. Trays of gold and cups will be passed round them, and there will be all that their inner selves could desire and all that the eyes could delight in, and they will abide there for ever. This is the paradise which you have been made to inherit because of the deeds which you used to do in the life of this world. There will be fruits in plenty for you, of which you will eat as you desire. Surely the criminals, sinners, and disbelievers will be in the torment of hell to abide there for ever. The torment will not be lightened for them, and they will be plunged into destruction with deep regret, sorrow, and in despair. We did not wrong them, but they were the polytheists and wrongdoers, and they will cry, O keeper of hell, let your Lord finish us off, he will say, surely you will abide for ever. Indeed, we have brought the truth to you, but most of you have a hatred for it. Or have they plotted some scheme? Then we too are planning. 
Or do they think that we do not hear their secrets and their private counsel, and our messengers are with them to record? Say, O Muhammad, if the most beneficent Allah had a son, then I am the first of Allah's worshippers who deny and refute this claim of yours. Glorified be the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the Lord of the throne. Exalted be he from all that they ascribe to him. So leave them alone to speak nonsense and play until they meet the day of theirs which they have been promised. It is he, Allah, who is the only God to be worshipped in the heavens and the only God to be worshipped on the earth. He is the All-Wise, the All-Knower. And blessed be he to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, and all that is between them, and with whom is the knowledge of the hour, and to whom all of you will be returned. And those whom they invoke instead of him have no power of intercession, except those who bear witness to the truth, and they know it. And if you ask them who created them, they will surely say, Allah. How then are they turned away from the worship of Allah who created them? Allah has knowledge of the Prophet, saying, O oh my Lord, surely these people do not believe. So turn away from them, O Muhammad, and say, Peace, they will come to know. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share, and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaq al Jariya in Islam. Sadaq al Jariya is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds, and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter, according to the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.